This question number four asks us to find the derivative of the function, which is a rational function. That means it's a fraction that has um, two functions, one on the top and one on the bottom, both in terms of x. So we need to use the quotient rule to find the derivative. So um, y prime is equal to the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top, 5x squared, times the derivative of the bottom, which would be 3x squared divided by the bottom squared, x cubed plus 1 quantity squared. Another way to think of that is low on the bottom, d high, which is 10x, minus high, d low, divided by the bottom squared. Um, the numerator for the, for the top is 10x to the fourth plus 10x minus 15x to the fourth. I just didn't put the bottom in right there. Um, and uh, that simplifies to negative 4x to the fourth plus 10x divided by um, x cubed plus 1 quantity squared. When you see that that's none of the choices on here, you um, notice that you can factor out a 5x, and you're left with uh, 2 minus x to the um, cubed, x to the third over x plus 1 quantity squared. Another way you could do that is you could um, eliminate this one just by looking at it. You know that it's not the bottom isn't squared. That leaves these two. Um, and then you notice that these two both have 5x, um, and then the question is just what's the, um, what's the sign here? And notice that since this is negative, the, the um, power of x to the fourth is negative, we know that it has to be this one because it has to have a negative. So the answer is C for this particular form that I'm looking at. Um, and notice that you could use the product rule if you wanted because you could rewrite the denominator as being a um, to the negative one power. So the big main, main math idea is that you have a rational function and you need to use the quotient rule.